But I suppose it, the fundamental debate that's going to be had, though, will come down to whether the Republicans can sell to the American people that they are really concerned about jobs, about people's livelihoods and all the rest of it, if they're also scratching the backs of their rich and wealthy members, which is clearly, I think, the flaw in the Ryan plan is that it, it just does. I mean, if you're very wealthy, you're going to be doing you know, a lot better out of Paul Ryan just, than you will out of Barack Obama, who believes fundamentally the rich should pay more tax. You know, I, I, I don't want to sound disrespectful, but I do wonder sometimes if you guys all get off in a little club and learn a brand new mantra uh, and then all repeat it mindlessly. The fact is, these kind of things were said about Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan's tax, tax cut, which was developed by Jack Kemp, who Paul Ryan worked for. Ronald Reagan's tax cut raised more people to middle class status, took more people out of poverty, created more jobs. You know, th this is the core thing that liberals don't get. If you want to have jobs, you have to encourage job creators. If you discourage job creators, if you engage in class warfare, if you do what Barack Obama has been doing, you have what we currently have. This is the worst recovery in 75 years. Now, Nobody in the media seems to want to come to grips with the fact that the Obama economic policy is a disaster for the poor. Look at the unemployment rate for black teenagers. Look at the unemployment rate for Latino teenagers. At what point do we hold the president accountable for a policy which is crippling the poor in America by crushing the economy under big government? Ryan and Romney represent a different approach. And I, and I think there's this mantra, you guys almost sound like you're an extension of the Obama campaign. The Ryan Romney plan empowers middle class Americans to get a job. When they get a job, their income goes up. They pay more taxes. They are independent. They're able to live their own lives. Obama worries about student loans. None of those students are going to get jobs under Obama. Ryan and Romney are worried about getting jobs for those students so they can pay off the Obama loans. I think this is a fundamentally different model, and I know everybody in the media wants to rush down and narrow it down to one point, so I'm going to rush down and narrow it down to one point. How long are we going to tolerate a president who, who makes the poorest Americans more unemployed, who pushes more poor Americans onto food stamps, and who eliminates hope for minorities, and that's the Barack Obama record after four years?